Hello, today I'm going to do a tutorial on making a wagon in Blender using the mirror tool. It's based off of this wagon. It's mirrored down to the center and it uses some simple shapes for the wheels or like torus, some rectangles for the in between and for where the I think the horses would draw the wagon and some very simple shapes up here like some books, just rectangles and squash spheres for pumpkins and some tubes, test tubes. Yep. Okay. I'm going to start with the default cube. I'm just going to go into edit mode and move it upwards and then turn on snapping real quick so that when I, when I move it right here, this side is on the center. I'm going to delete the face right here and then now I can apply the mirror modifier so that it appears on both sides of my x-axis. You can use multiple axis at once, but we're only gonna use the x-axis. You also have to move it while it's in edit mode or the origin may be incorrect and it'll flip across the wrong um, center. So like right now when I'm in edit mode, I can see my center of this object is that orange dot. But if I had done it in object mode, it might've stayed in the middle of this cube Okay, now I'm going to scale it this way so it's a longer wagon and squash it again because I want it to be like the body region of the wagon. Oop, I'm going to turn off snapping. Yep. Now I'm going to extrude and scale that a bit up. And I'm gonna go into this mode real quick and fix these. Um, I'm gonna put the X to zero because I want them to be centered. Okay, while I'm in edit mode, I'm going to add another Q and then scale these down. Oops. I'm going to oops, gonna move these so they are right on the corners of my wagon so that it can put um, a tarp up and support it. Okay. And I can shift D, I just duplicate this and move this to the other side. I can select the faces of these on my side and then just move them up to about how high it would be holding the tarp. Um, I can actually also control R, put an edge loop on both of these. Now I'm going to select both of them, both of the edges with Alt Shift left click. And I can move these up a little bit. And then I'll take these faces as well and scale them on the y-axis and I can bring them in so that it's more curved and not just straight. Then I can actually extrude, oops, do that again. That's pretty curved, so you can do it however you want. You don't have to have this many. Um, now I will add in another cube. Move this to the top, scale it down, and then snap it to the center again. Oh, okay. I'm going to temporarily disable this so that I can see this face and delete it. So I don't want extra faces when it's doing that. Turn the mirroring back on. And then I will take this. This will be like the tarp on the top. So I will scale it on the y-axis, move it up, oh, forgot to turn off the snapping, and move it up a bit. For now it's going to be floating because I want to control R and make some more edge loops so that I can curve the tarp over these wooden supports. Let's see, okay. Take Alt, Shift, left click. 
on both of these sides and I can just move them down like that. What? Okay, I'll just rotate these so it looks a little more rounded again. Remember this all again over the top. If I actually want it curved here too, I can make another edge loop. Select this route. Raise this up a little bit and then maybe rotate it. Ooh, maybe not. Rotate it? Um, you could rotate it here too and then you would also select these vertices in the middle and make sure their x um, coordinate is zero. Which actually I could show right here. Um, maybe I want, maybe this could be the back of the wagon and I can have two, like a supporting beam across the back. I just made a control loop, or, sorry, a loop slip. Extrude this, and then I'll pick these vertices in x-ray so I make sure I get all of them. Now I'm gonna make sure their x is zero so it's perfectly mirrored and it's not overlapping, causing weird visual things to go on. Now right here, I want to add some wheels, so we'll add a torus, and I'm just going to reduce the amount of um, segments to like maybe 18. What? what oh, okay. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I can move it and then scale it down. Rotate it, scale it down, rotate it on the y-axis by 90 degrees. Uh, move it over here. I'm just gonna eyeball it and like line it up. Um, think, okay, if I take some of these inner rows, oops, do a line. I can scale this down too so that the wheel isn't so um, thin. I might want it more rounded like that. And I should light it up a little more. Uh, okay. Okay, now for this part. I looked it up so that I can say the names. I'm gonna make the spokes in like the centerpiece. So I'm going to select this with L and shift S cursor to selected. Now it's at the middle of my selected object and I can have a perfectly centered um, spoke kind of thing hub. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna use cylinder at, ooh, actually, I'm gonna use a cube and just make it really small because here we go. I'm gonna duplicate that real quick and then just scale this one down. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this one and scale it down. Scale it on the z-axis. Let me make it thinner again. Shift D, I'm going to duplicate again. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the x axis. Now I can select both of these, duplicate it, and then rotate them uh, 45 degrees. There we go. Now I have a wheel on both sides. I can select all of these, oops, all the spokes, the center, and the wheel, and just Shift D, I can duplicate it, and then G. Y, move this to the back. Okay. Now for the front part, I'm going to select this face. Cursor to select it again, so that it's right in the center. I'm gonna add another cube, scale it pretty far down. 
Oops. Take this and extend it a little bit. And then extend it again. And then drag it to the bottom. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take those two faces actually. Oh, I guess it's just one face. And rotate it five degrees. Now it looks more like that. got a wagon. Now I'm going to make it right there. So it looks like it has more support than just having the front area just poking out. 